Hey guys, welcome to Game Reviews and More. This is Javano, and I will be teaching you how to make your uh, video files less than 300 megabytes for submission to Game Reviews and More. Because I have heard a lot of people complaining that their files end up being way too big to upload to Dropbox. And I have no problem getting my files usually under 300 megs, assuming they're a reasonable size. So, uh, what I use to record is I use Fraps. Now these settings don't matter that much. I find Fraps has some pretty good default settings. This is just saying um, I'm recording the uh, the Win 7 sound means just the system sound, like Minecraft sounds and stuff like that. Uh, this is just saying that I record using a microphone, which I'm using right now. And I record 30 FPS, full size. I have the capture key, so that's the uh, numpad asterisk key. I just find it's a convenient key to use. But you don't have to pay attention, pay attention to these uh, settings much. Also, any program I show in this uh, video, I will put the link to their website in the description for this video so you guys can figure out where to get those things. And uh, what I use to uh, record, or render rather, is Camtasia Studio. And uh, I'll show you that after. I will demonstrate me just re-rendering my first episode of my Let's Play because I got it handy here. Uh, how I record is you just have fraps running in the background. And you can tell it's uh, targeting the window that you want to record because... Um, I have the FPS key set to 12. Uh, I think it, or F12, I can't remember what it defaults to, but I think it's default F12. It just kind of shows the FPS. First setting is uh, top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right, and then off, and then it resets. And you can tell it's recording, because when you press the record key, the FPS counter turns red. Now you can record when it's off, and it's just you can't tell if it's recording or not. And you'll see uh, files appearing on my desktop here. I have it set to record to my desktop just for convenience. Now normally I uh, full screen it completely, not just maximize it, but I am actually using uh, Camtasia Studio to record this because Fraps, I don't use Fraps when I'm recording my entire desktop because Fraps doesn't like that. It doesn't like when you're switching in between windows and stuff, so I use Camtasia Studio to record if I'm recording multiple windows, like just me switching around like this. So um, let's go to, I'll just leave the FPS counter up just so you guys can see. Here, let's go to this new world, whatever. But if I actually full screen Minecraft, uh, Camtasia Studio just records a black screen, which is annoying, so that's why I use Fraps. So uh, let's just record this. And I'll just I'll just make it a short like 30 second recording or something just so you guys can see how it works. Now uh Fraps will record into large files, like really large files, because they're uncompressed AVI files, which is probably the best format to record into. Uh, it will also cut off files at 3.95 gigs, I think, which is about three to four minutes of recording. And then it just splits it into the, like, the rest of the recording is in the next file, and then if it hits 3.95 again, it splits it into another file, which is kind of a pain, but it's really easy to, uh, render them all into one file. So that's probably about enough recording right there. Let's close this off. So you'll see the, uh, files I recorded right here. Um... I think these are old ones. Yeah, they are. Just for me uh, pressing the button on the main screen. So this is the file I recorded here. And I will take this. I'll go into Camtasia Studio. And I will drop that and render it. But to show you an actual realistic rendering type situation, uh, I'll use these files. Now, I, I, I won't render the entire episode because that's like 13 minutes, I think. So I'll just use the first one, which is... Oh, it cuts it off at 3.98 gigs. This is how for app records. Wraps. So it's like a 13 minute video and it cut it into three video files. Normally I just go drag them all into uh, Camtasia Studio like that and it just arranges them. Now it'll ask you what size you want your video to be. I just set it to uh, 1280 by 720 because that's actually what I render them out as at 720p. But I'll just cut off these two parts just to make it easier to show you. So we got this first, uh, how long is this? This is 4 minutes and 39 seconds. So that's probably long enough for the average video. Maybe you'd want to make it longer. Now, uh, I record or I render using the HD preset on here, which just makes it so much easier. But the HD preset does actually uh, render it at 50% quality, which I don't actually find uh, hinders your video that much. But if you do want to up it, you can just go to add slash edit preset and then go to HD. You'll see it's at 50% here. You can go edit and go in and change it. But I don't. I don't really find a problem with it being at 50%. Uh, percent. If you do put it up to 100%, it will increase your file size dramatically. So that's one of the ways it actually uh, 
makes you a good file size is it renders at 50% quality. The reason I'm using Camtasia Studio, I do have Vegas down here, but Vegas has a horrendously large uh, file size when it renders. I just find Camtasia is probably the best program I've ever used for rendering uh, files into a really small file size. So I'll just set this to the desktop. Finish. And uh, I'll, I'll just fast forward this part for you. Okay, so we're back. Uh, the video is done rendering. It took approximately 15 minutes for a five minute video. You'll see it's 75 megs, which is a quarter of the 300 meg file limit. So really you should not be having a problem with your file size when it comes to Dropbox, assuming you use this method. This is probably the best method to get a really small file size I've seen. Uh, if you use Vegas, that's probably your biggest problem, because Camtasia has a much, much better compression or way it compresses things than Vegas does. Vegas gives you like horrendously large files when you render pretty much the same thing. I don't really know why. I, I may just be using the wrong settings, but I find Camtasia gives you so much better thing, uh, video. rather. And the fact that it just has this HD preset is fantastic. I, I don't have any problems with it. Just If you want to make the quality higher, you can go in there, edit it, and uh, ramp the quality up from 50% to whatever you want. But I find 50% is good enough quality for pretty much anybody. See, 50% uh, does sound bad, but it's really not that bad of quality. It could be better, but I find, I don't know, I don't know about most people, but I know I don't ever full screen videos for the most part. So uh, when you don't full screen your video, the video is probably going to be about this size, so it makes the quality look pretty much perfect. So it uh, should be good for pretty much anything you want to do with it. Uh, that's probably about it. The fact that I record with Fraps really doesn't make that much of a difference. I just recommend that program because it works really well. It records into AVIs, which is probably the best thing to record into. Uh, you can use essentially any recording program as long as you bring it into Camtasia and as long as Camtasia can read the file type. But yeah, that should be about it. Thanks for watching, and uh, if you like my stuff, don't forget to check out my channel. Link's in the description. See us.